Noise cancellation is a miracle. But how does it work? Well, we know that noise is produced by vibrations. When a speaker vibrates, it disturbs the air molecules immediately outside it. And those air molecules collide with ones next to them, and they collide with ones next to them, and so on. Like dominoes, passing on vibrations that travel through the air like a wave. Let's take a closer look at the sound waves here. The peaks are where the air molecules are vibrating and compressed. And these low points, called troughs, are where the air molecules are spread normally. Now these waves have a frequency which determines the number of waves in a second and an amplitude which determines the height of the wave, or in sound's case, the volume. So how do these sound waves interfere with each other? To answer that, we go to the trampoline. My friend here is going to attempt to match the low point or trough of my jump with the trough of his jump. If he can do this, the amplitude of my jump will increase like this. But if the peak of his jump matches the trough of my jump, the amplitude of my jump will decrease like this. And from this, we learned that wave one plus wave two equals wave three. So if we had two sound waves of equal frequency interfering with each other, the result would be a sound wave with twice the amplitude or twice the volume of the original. This amplification of sound is called constructive interference. If we took these sound waves and shifted one so that the peaks match the troughs, then the result would be a sound wave of amplitude zero. And this is called destructive interference. So your buds are emitting a sound wave opposite to the surrounding sound so that they cancel out, creating that destructive interference that lets you enjoy some blissful peace.